Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. It is five past nine in the morning. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. I've had the loveliest little morning. Um, I've done Pilates. Like I said, I was gonna mix up my workouts for each week of lockdown. So this week I am changing it up with some Pilates. So I'm on day three of doing Pilates for this week and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. So I've been linking them on my Instagram stories um, each of the workouts that I've just been doing. I've just been doing little YouTube um, workouts every morning. Um, but yeah, I've not really done Pilates before. I've done tons of yoga, but not Pilates. So I thought I'd try that and actually really enjoying it. And I can really feel it in my body, especially like in my core, in my abs. Um, it's been so, so good. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. I got up this morning, did my little Pilates session. I took the dogs on a lovely walk through the woods in peace at seven o'clock this morning and um, come home, had some breakfast in the garden. It's so sunny here today. Got myself showered in peace. It's just been a lovely little morning. So yeah, I feel like my lockdown mornings are getting into such a little routine now. I love getting up early. I feel like it's my little treat. It's like, I just get that time when the kids are not up, I get some peace some time to think and just to like have a little bit of me time and yeah really enjoying it yesterday was so hot I've burnt on my back I don't think you can see but I didn't didn't put factor 50 on my back like I did everywhere else and I've burnt it um so I'm gonna be really careful with my SPF today my plan is to sit out in the garden for most of this morning on my sofa and I've got loads of work to do like admin email editing and stuff like that to do so I'm gonna sit out in the sun and do that and then this afternoon the kids are going to their dads I have a very peaceful evening and I don't really know what to do myself because it's been very full on. I've not had any child free days for a good couple of weeks now. So I'm very ready to just have a night off and just have a bit of me time. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to actually go and water my little plants in the garden while I remember. And um, water my plants set the sofa and the cushions and everything out in the garden, get my laptop, a coffee, a huge bottle of water, and go and set myself up a little office in the garden for the next couple of hours, I think. Um, yeah, and enjoy this sun. These are some spring onions that are regrowing. I saw on Instagram that if you use a spring onion, chop the top off and keep the bulbs, that you can regrow them. So that is what we're doing here. This one up here is regrowing. And then this one is a little courgette plant. We have some tomatoes, which I need to get a cane for because it keeps falling. So I'm waiting for those to come from Amazon. Oops. And then over here are some little strawberry plants. So they should hopefully grow some little strawberries over the next few months. And then in these little pots, we have some little like flower seedlings in here. So I'm hoping they're gonna grow. I might move them into the sun a little bit. And these, are gonna, I'm just gonna water all these now. The dogs are absolutely loving the sofa out here. They spend all the day out here at the minute. <laughs> they're nice. Are you sunbathing? <laughs> She's ignoring me. Are you ignoring me? Oh my goodness, it is so hot today. I've just been, me and Rick have been for a little walk, uh, a little walk out in the sun before he went off to work. He's gone to work now for a few hours and I'm child free. I don't know what to do myself. 
Um, so I think I'm going to go in. I just went to Aldi to basically go and get some compost and queued up. And then when I got in there, there was no compost, which is just brilliant. Um, so I ended up just grabbing like a pizza to have for tea. So yeah, it's just me for dinner tonight. I don't really know what to do with myself. So I think the plan is now to go in and I'm gonna set a timer and do like an hour's speed clean and try and get the house as clean as possible for when Rick gets back later and before the weekend so that tomorrow I can just get up and it's gonna be super clean and tidy and I don't have to do any of that. So I'm gonna do that for an hour, take the dogs out for a walk because it is so hot. I'm gonna to have to leave it till a little bit to um, take them out. So I'm gonna leave it till about eight o'clock and take them out then when it is a little bit cooler and then I'm gonna sit down and have some dinner on my own which is very boring and wait for Rick to come home from work I'm gonna go in take this dress off put something really really like comfortable shorts on put my hair as high up on my head as I possibly can and clean the house for an hour I need to start at the top in the boys room and it gets really warm up there, so I'm not really looking forward to this at all. So I'm gonna whiz round and yeah, and then we'll make some dinner. And I've also just bought myself some gin from Aldi, um, which is rhubarb and plum, I think it is. So I'm gonna go treat myself to that, one of those, once I've done my speed clean for the next hour. So I've actually just decided that I'm going to pour myself a gin before I actually start cleaning to make the cleaning a little bit more enjoyable. So, where is my gin? I just picked this up as well, which I've not seen before. It's Fabulosa and it is Black Cherry Merlot. Oh my God, that smells so amazing. That smells like, remember you used to get the Black Cherry Sweets when you were little in like a tube? That literally smells just like that. I'm going to use that when I clean in a minute so that uh, everywhere else smells lovely. And this is what I wanted to try. Plum and pink grapefruit is actually the flavour. I couldn't remember. I think it was. I didn't actually know how much it was. I couldn't see a label for it, but I just, just thought it's Aldi. It's not going to be expensive. And I've not got my receipt either. So I'm going to have a check. I think I just put it straight in the bin on the way out. So I don't know how much it was, but I will tell you how much how nice it is. I like the little bottle that's in too. It's really cute. It would actually make a really nice little, um, like little vase kind of thing. Mmm. That is actually so nice. Mmm. Mmm. It's a nice little rice from Aldi. Telling me all about her grandchildren and all about um, the Isle of Wight where her nephew lives. I just think it's so nice. Like at the minute in lockdown, everyone's got more time to like stop and chat. And oh, I keep seeing her every evening. So she's my new little friend. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna finish taking these doggies for a walk, go home, and um, just have a night to myself. I don't know what to do with myself. It's very strange. Nice and 
early. I'm trying to stick to my morning routines as much as I can, even at the weekends, because it just makes me feel so good and just sets my day off to a really good little start. So I've got up and done my usual morning routine, had my coffee, some water, done my little Pilates session. If you watched my other vlog, you would have heard me talking about um, wanting to switch up my exercise in quarantine. So this week I've been doing like, um, like Pilates yoga videos. Oh my God, I am absolutely loving them. They're hard, they're harder than yoga. Really like make me feel like I've done something. In the mornings I've been waking up and my abs are like hurting. I can really feel it. So usually I'll do exercise Monday to Friday mornings when I first get up. But this morning I just really wanted to do a quick session. Um, so I'll link in the description a few of the channels that I've been really enjoying this week for like little Pilates sessions. Um, but I've done that and then I thought this morning it'd be fun to show you like my morning routine when it comes to kind of getting up and getting working and things like that. Just show you what I do to just get motivated and get my things done that I need to get done each day. Obviously I've been self-employed now for I think about 10 years, 9 years maybe. Um, so you do have to motivate yourself. It is very easy to not do any work on certain days. Um, so I thought I would just run through, run through with you how I organize my days, working from home, the kind of things I get up to and stuff like that. So usually on a Saturday, it just depends. Some Saturdays I'll work and then I'll have a day off another day. It just really depends what's going on. But with the weather being so lovely this week, I've had quite a few like kind of I'd say like working like half days kind of thing. So catching up on like admin stuff that I need to do and doing some bits of content. Um but yeah, I've had a kind of slow week, shall we say, which has been lovely. Like it's been so so nice. Um I just think with this weather and because in the UK we do not get very hot weather um, that often <laughs> but I've just been making the most of it so yeah the kids are at their dad's this morning um, so it gives me a morning just to crack on and just get some things done they are they are back um, later on this morning so once they're back I think the plan is I'm gonna go and meet my mom and take the dogs out it's another gorgeous day here um, and just make the most of it really I think if you noticed before when I was doing my Pilates that my brows were like Looked like the mid drawn on with the marker pen. I've just used the um, is it Maybelline? I think it's Maybelline you know, like the tattoo brow just to um Give my brows a little bit of color seeing as I'm not going seeing Chelsea who usually does like henna brows on me so yeah, they're a bit dodged, but um, they'll just have to do at the moment. Once I've kind of got up, got myself a coffee, drank a ton of water, I will usually sit down, have 10 minutes, catch up on a bit of news, or I'll read a book, or I'll listen to an audio book, or something like that. Um, and then I'll do a little exercise session. So that's either usually running, a bit of yoga. Next week, I'm going to do some weight training for the week, just to keep mixing things up a little bit. Um... And then I will usually go and take the dogs out. So I'm gonna nip the dogs out for a quick little walk. Um, I usually put my headphones in, either listen to some really like happy music or like a really motivational um, audio book or podcast or something like that, just to get my mind and my brain in a really positive state of mind. And I think that really, really helps. So most mornings my alarm goes off at 5.30 and I will either get up straight the minute it gets it goes off at like 5.30 or sometimes I'll snooze it for 10 or 20 minutes but every morning I'd say I'm up by 6am. If I'm not up by 6am it really really bothers me and it really sets my day off to a not very good start. Um, I've had a lot of questions on Instagram because I usually post out like early in the morning if I'm up, what I'm up to, things like that. And so many of you, especially mums, have said, oh, I really want to get up early in the morning. I want to have an hour to myself before the kids wake up. And I personally feel like that is what keeps me sane, especially at the moment being in lockdown for us mums. I think it is very emotionally challenging, like mentally challenging because you just don't get any time 
uh, any kind of switch off time and I just think for me it's really really important just to have that time just to kind of set my mind for the day get myself organized and just have that little bit of time to myself I'm very lucky in the fact that um, I'm separate from the kids dad so I am getting that real like switch off time and I know that it massively massively helps me mentally so any of you mums out there that aren't getting that I feel for you I know how hard this is at the moment and um, yeah maybe getting up that hour earlier just giving yourself that time just for you will give you that mentally that that just space just to get yourself set for the day and just give you a little bit of peace and quiet before the kids wake up and they're like mum 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 all day. I'm gonna go and get my jumper on, get my trainers on and nip the dogs out and get some fresh air which I find always always just sets me in a good mood. <laughs> the dog and now is one of my very favorite moments of the day actually at the moment it feels like such a nice little treat every morning I am having a nice little shower in peace listen to something quite motivational and just have a little pamper do my skincare get myself ready for the day I've actually I wanted to treat myself to like a really nice shower gel so that every shower every morning when I have my shower it's like a really nice little treat because at the moment we need those little treats, <laughs> those little things that just bring us a little bit of joy each day. But I did actually pick up this, which is the Rituals um, Shower Oil, um, because I thought that would be something really, really nice to have each morning, but I'm really not a fan. Like, I love oils. I love, like, cleansing oils, things like that, but this just didn't lather up properly, and I just feel like you need a really nice lather, something really like nourishing and just really lovely. So yeah, I did get this. I wouldn't recommend it unless you like an oil and you're not that bothered about like bubbles and stuff in the shower. But I want like bubbles and a lovely scent and just something nice and it feels like a real treat. So if anyone's got any recommendations for a nice like kind of high end shower gel that's just a little treat that I can have each morning, then um, please let me know in the comments below because I just you want to try one. I was thinking about trying the Laura, Laura Mercier ones um, because they've got good reviews. So if anyone's tried those, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get myself showered now, do my skincare and pop a little bit of makeup on and get myself ready for the day in peace. Ooh, so I'm all clean and showered and I'm about to just do my skincare. So I thought I would just pop on and show you what I'm using at the moment because I have switched it up a little bit. Um, I'm literally just sat on this little stool that I usually have my um, towel baskets on, but it's actually really handy. I don't know why I don't normally sit on here. We're going to start with, I'm just going to do a really quick run through. So I've been using this, which I got in my, um, my box from Beauty Expert. And as you know, I'm not usually a cleanser kind of girl because it usually dries my skin out. I was very hesitant to try this, but actually, I really, really like it. So, it doesn't leave my skin dry. It doesn't give me that horrible feeling that I usually get with like a face cleanser. And it hasn't dried out my skin. Or for, get left it with that horrible, tight feeling. So I've been happy about that. You'll see as well, I actually have a little bit of a natural tan. This is natural, um, which has been nice because usually I fake tan, like I do a big fake tan once a week and then I do like a little top up either with like a gradual tan or just a light like mist tan or something over the top. But this week I've not needed it because I've actually been out in the sun and got a natural tan. So I've moved on to using the Milky Tonic by Pixie. And I reckon I want it run out. So I thought I would use this one. It's actually so nice. 
you'll see I've got my normal hormonal breakout, which I always get every time I have my period, which is just driving me absolutely mad. While that is just sinking into my skin, I'm just going to pop a bit of Aveeno. Um, I've been using this since I had the eczema around my eyes and on my neck, and I've actually fallen in love with it. It's such a moisturising, oily, like nourishing moisturiser. So I've actually been using it kind of all over and it's so lovely. Such a lovely nourishing little moisturiser. So I'm gonna pop a bit of that on. And my eye cream. I'm sure as you probably have noticed over the last few weeks, the wrinkles and the fine lines are well and truly here. Obviously, I've not had any Botox or fillers in, God, months now. Um, with us being in lockdown and everything, it must be three months. Maybe longer. Maybe I didn't have any until since Christmas. I can't think now. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. We have a lot of fine lines appeared around my eyes uh, on my forehead. So I'm trying to really, really use some really good skincare around my eyes and just on my face in general. So yeah, it doesn't like massively bother me. I'm sure, you know what the internet's like, I'm sure there's some lovely people pointing out how much my lines have come back, which obviously they're going to, seeing as I'm almost 36. Um, but yeah, it doesn't massively bother me. Obviously, this is completely back and around my eyes. I've just noticed it here. I've been having Botox since I was 29, I think. So for me, it's kind of like strange for them all of a sudden to appear, but it's not actually bothering me as much as I thought it would. Just embracing it. I still got ID the other day in Tesco, so I can't look that old, although, um, my face idea has stopped recognising my face. I don't know whether it's just my phone or whether it's just me being paranoid that my face has sagged so much over the last two months. But yeah, it is what it is. There's more important things going on in the world. So, you know, the fact that I've got a few wrinkles on my forehead and a few crow's feet around my eyes, you know, there's a lot more important things going on. So, I've just used the La Roche Posay um, eye cream, and this is the cause um, the one the moisturizer with the serum in that I tried. It's the Meno Reverse, um, which is really nice. It's a really nice day cream that I'm enjoying. So, usually I would wash my hair this morning because it definitely needs it, but today I'm going to take my hair extensions out. I've been putting it off just because I know the top section. So this section here is my natural hair um, and I know that when Sunita put my extensions in, she blended this into the extensions. So I don't know what's going to be there when I take the extensions out. It's definitely not going to be like the straight bob that I had, but it's got to the point where I've just got to do it now. So I'm going to try and take them out today and then either cut it myself, just neaten up the, the ends and make it nice and straight, or Rick's going to have a little look, Rick said. I could bring my my um, laser level back from work and put it along and then cut it. I don't know. <sighs> Would be hilarious. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna wash my hair. I'm just gonna dry shampoo it and put a few waves in it, pop a hairband in it, and um, hope for the best. So while my skincare is in and on my face, I am going to pop on my gown and go and make myself some breakfast, the dog some breakfast, and then I will come back and do my makeup. I just like giving my face like 10, 20 minutes just to absorb all the goodness that has gone in. <laughs> and then we will do a quick makeup. So I'm just doing the dog's food and then I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I'm going to make myself some smoked salmon avocado toast. 
um, because I've just been really craving a little bit of salmon. You might be thinking, what the hell? I thought you were vegan. <laughs> Why are you eating salmon? Um, but I've just got to the point now where if I fancy a little bit of something, whether it's fish or a little bit of cheese or something like that, there are little things that I really, really miss. And I just figure, do you know what? If I eat like a vegan or dairy-free diet, I've eaten absolutely zero meat since um, the beginning of January. And that really doesn't bother me. I could go vegetarian and no problem. Um, but I do miss the odd little bit of fish, whether it's a little bit of salmon or a little bit of tuna. Um, so I just figured, you know what, if I eat 90 or 95% of the time, like a vegan diet, then that is better than anything. And there are a few little bits that I really, really miss. And, you know, everyone's doing their little bit. Hello. You can wait. <laughs> Is here waiting for his breakfast but yeah i'm just not gonna like massively stress out about it and also i just don't want to put this big massive label on things because i think that's when people get a bit ott and i get like if people want to follow a vegan diet and lifestyle then that is amazing and i really have done like so well i've done it from january to like may I never planned on going vegan. I never even planned on going vegetarian. I was doing it because Effie wanted to do it for like veggie January. So personally, I just feel like I've done so well with it and it's definitely like a big life change for me that like pretty much dairy is cut out of my diet for most of the time. Are you gonna have this? But yeah, if I just feel like I want to have a little bit of cheese, whether it's a little bit of mozzarella on a pizza, or if I can't find a vegan alternative, or if I fancy a little bit of, ooh, fancy a little bit of milk chocolate, or a little bit of salmon, then I'm just gonna have it. Um, because I just think, I just don't wanna get the two OTP, and any, any change is a good change. So that is my, um, decision that I've made this week I'm very happy about um, and I just think it puts less pressure on things you know when you're on a diet and you feel like because you said you're on a diet you start craving everything that you shouldn't be eating I feel like that's a little bit what it is so if I feel like oh if I want a bit of sweet salmon I'm going to have a bit of sweet salmon or if I fancy a little bit of milk chocolate or the kids want a bagel cake you know things like that then but dairy consumption, like, that is just going to stay the same. I don't drink any cow's milk. I don't want to drink any cow's milk. I don't really eat eggs. Um, unless it's a tiny little bit of, like, egg white and something, then I will. And that will stay the same. I'm still going to buy all my vegan cheeses and things like that. It's just little, little tiny, tiny little things that I miss. Like, a tiny little bit of mozzarella sometimes, or some tuna, or some salmon or a little bit of chocolate I'm just not going to like make myself unhappy and deprive myself of those little things when I'm doing such a good thing so yeah I wanted to tell you about that um just so we're up to date not that I like to put labels on anything anyway but I would say I'm following a plant-based diet or pescatarian something like that um and it is what it is I'm gonna make my little salmon toast and enjoy it. <laughs> so, my skincare has had plenty of time to just settle into my skin. I've just got myself dressed. I put this amazing ASOS little kind of crop top on. Like my arms are covered, but it's a nice little summery top. I like the way it fits here. It's quite nice and flattering. So Something exciting has just happened as well. I'm trying to look for, here we go, a couple of hair grips because I'm just going to pop my hair back off my face while we do this little makeup. So while I was getting myself sorted and having a little bit of breakfast, the post lady came. Our post lady is the cutest lady ever she comes with dog treats <laughs> so every time she comes the dogs go running to the gate and they are her best friends she is the most clever post lady ever she just makes friends with all the dogs 
Um, so yeah, let's just ignore the state of my hair right now because once I've done my makeup, I'm going to put some dry shampoo in it and wave it. And then later on, when Rick is back, I'm going to get my extensions out, which I am a little bit scared about to be honest. So anyway, like I was saying, something very exciting happened while I was having my makeup. I got a nice delivery, something that I've been waiting for. I am so excited to try this. So my By Terry delivery arrived. I ordered the CC Serum and I also ordered the Sunny Flash palette, like the highlighter palette, which I'm so excited about trying. I've seen so many good reviews about these products on Instagram and then I also got a few little samples that came. Um, I got a little lipstick sample, a little sample of the CC Serum by, by Terry and Glowing Rose Mask. So I'll try those as well. I also have, oh my goodness me, so I have been trying out this actually. I got a little sample, it's actually so nice. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on just to hydrate my skin a little bit before I do anything else. It is the Rodeal Vitamin C Drops. Oh my God, it's so nice. I've been putting it on before my makeup and it's been lovely. So I'm gonna order the full size one of these. Yeah, so it's the Vitamin C Drops by Rodeal. So lovely. So I'm gonna get that ordered actually today because otherwise I'll forget to order it. So, oh my gosh. I hope this is as nice as what I thought. So we'll do a little first impressions of both products while I just do my makeup today. I've actually been loving just not wearing tons of makeup because the sun's been out. I've been wanting to just not put foundation on my face and um, so that I actually catch a little bit of sun on my skin. The colour of this is also Sunny Flash and I've seen a lot of people use it in place of foundation for just a super glowy look so that is two pumps and let's see what it does my skin most of the time is not oh my god it smells so nice it smells really it's such a different smell it must be the white rose in it which makes it smell amazing so i've not been wanting to I mean, my skin's pretty much good apart from when i get my period and then it goes bad so I'm hoping majority of the time look at the colour it's given me then I've got a tiny bit more on so that was two pumps I'm actually going to go with another two and then I think oh my goodness it's given my skin such a nice like tanned glowy dewy look Oh my goodness, I know why people are hyping about this product all the time now. I will show you in the light in a second because I feel like it's quite dark on my face. Oh, yes. It's giving my face, it's like blurred out my complexion, just like smoothed it out. I like that. I like evened out all my skin tone. Look at that. And it feels heavenly on my skin. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's me hooked on a very expensive product then. I like that a lot. This top's going a bit too booby. I need to put it up. I am just going to pop on a little bit, bit of concealer on my horrendous brow on my chin and a little bit under my eyes too. And that is probably going to be it for kind of concealer. I also want to really try the Banana Low Lighter by Rodeo. So I might actually order that at the same time as when I order these vitamin serum drops. But yeah, I'm just going to use my finger for concealer today. Because I just want it to look super natural and dewy. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it super light on the makeup today that is going to be about it and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of brows I'm going to go in with my iconic eyebrow cushion yeah that is what it's called 
and just pop a little bit of shape and um, definition to my brows. And I always use my Benefit Bear Real Mascara on my brows just to give them that super bushy brushed up look. And then I actually need to move you because you are sat on top of my eyeshadow palette. So I've really quickly just done my eyes with my Beauty Bay Origins palette which as you can see, I absolutely love. I use all the time. If you've not seen this palette before, I always show it you on so many of my videos because if you like warm tones like me, it has every warm tone you could possibly ever need in your makeup life. <laughs> um, I just love it, which is why it looks like this. I actually need a new one. Look at the state of it. But I'm just trying to be good and use up what I have got and not waste things. So... I'm actually so excited by this. I can't believe my skin looks like this without any foundation on and just really concealer over my bad skin. I just actually, I'm amazed. Now it's time to try the other exciting part, which I've just realized I don't have a brush for. So I need to go and get a brush really quickly for this. Okay, I have my brushes. These are the brushes from my iconic brush set, which I just absolutely love. So let's try this baby out. Another one I'm so excited about. I've seen this on so many girls that I follow on Instagram. Um, oh my God, it's so pretty as well. Look at the packaging on it. So lovely. Look at those colors. So let's do this. So I'm going to go in with this one first, which is like a bronzy kind of shade. And just lightly contour with that one, I think. Oh, that's so lovely. A little bit of my nose. And then you know I love my blush so I'm gonna try and mix both these pinky colors together my blush so pretty oh my goodness I love this look at this I don't know if you can see in this light so lovely and then I'm just going to use my finger with the highlight just to go down my nose keep it bow and a tiny bit here and here and that is it really first impressions on both of these products Oh, that is better. Oh my goodness. Look at the glow on the blusher and the cheeks. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh my goodness, I love these. And that is such a quick makeup as well. That is not my sitting for hours. That is literally the CC serum in place of foundation, the tiniest bit of concealer on my chin. So I'm really excited for when my hormonal breakout goes and I can literally just wear the CC serum. Even just the CC serum and a little bit of that Sunny Flash palette would make the biggest difference. <laughs> about 
as much effort that is going into my hair at the moment. This is one of my favourite little hairdos at the moment. I'm loving these big headbands because they hide a little section of my roots. <laughs> and I got this root spray. This is just from B&M and it's better than the L'Oreal one that I have been using. So I don't actually want to colour my hair at all because I know I'll just make an absolute mess of it. So I'm trying to hold out until I can get into the salon. I'm going to do my hairdresser Claire um, at Wigs and More Paint in Sheffield because she is amazing and she sort of my colour out so much I mean you don't look at it now it's quite warm it needs a toner or something on it I don't know but I'm trying to just do as little as possible to it so yeah extensions are going to come out today or tomorrow depending on when I get brave enough to do it but until then this is my go-to hairstyle. <laughs> Headband covers a multitude of sins and then just messy, messy waves. And then when I get fed up or too hot later, I'll just ponytail it, keep the headband in and it's still cute. So yeah, I'm just in Effie's room because Rick is just on a phone call in our room so I'm trying to just be quiet. Um, but that will have to do for today. Um, ignore the state of Effie's room behind me. I refuse, I refuse to tidy up for her. She's due back from her dad's today. So she is going to tidy up this mess behind. But I'll just show you my outfit really quickly today. This is, so yeah, this is the ASOS top that I absolutely love. My belt is from my brand Lemon Milk and the shorts are the Topshop mom shorts, which I keep raving about. They are just so cute and so comfy and so good for getting a tan because they're nice and short. That is about as much uh, getting ready that you're gonna see from me today. But actually, I can't believe how quickly that makeup was and also the hair super quick as well. Now I'm ready for the day. I'm gonna go and set myself up and show you my little workstation and what I kind of do to get myself organized for bits of projects and things that I have coming up. Um, and yeah, what I usually do to kind of like work from home and get myself organized and motivated for the day. <laughs> So I'm just about to go and uh, set myself up in the garden. It is my favourite place to work at the moment. Obviously, oh, obviously with this weather, it is just so good. And I love just sitting out there, getting a little tan. I've actually just changed my top because I thought while I'm out there, I'm going to make the most of it and try and get a bit more sun on my shoulders. I'm just going to make myself a really nice little iced coffee. So I thought I would show you the coffee that I've been making at the moment. So... I've just got all my little bits and bobs ready, apart from, oh, I've only got a tiny bit of that left. This is the ginger red syrup that I've been putting in. Um, so I just get some ice in a glass. These are just little plastic ones that I like to take out in the garden so they don't get smashed. And then I've just got some espresso. So I've let it cool down a little bit just so it's not um, just gonna melt all the ice. So that is in there and then sometimes I like to add this. This is another one of those things that I've missed that I still am eating and instead of being like 100% dairy free. I actually love coffee mate in my coffee. I just think it makes it taste a bit creamy and I was really, really missing it. So I just put two teaspoons, teaspoons, teaspoons um, of the coffee mate into my espresso. I just find it makes it taste a bit more creamy, which is what I like. And then, what's that's mixed in? This isn't going to mix in very well now because I've let it cool down too much. And I just put it down my top. Brilliant. Okay, I'm back. I've just literally just cleaned all that up straight away. I would be so gutted if that stains. Um, this top's just from H&M, but I've absolutely loved it in this hot weather. And then I have some oat milk. Um, I like the barista style one, but I've actually run out. Um, so I'm just give that a big shake so it's a little bit more fluffy than normal. And then I'm just going to fill the glass about three quarters length. Three quarters length, three quarters full. And get my metal straw out so I can give it a little, a little stir. And then I'm also going to add some gingerbread syrup in. You can add sugar into your coffee. You can add anything really, like little chocolate syrups whatever you want just to give it different flavors but this is gingerbread which is my favorite coffee flavoring so i've just put that straight into the coffee especially with sugar as well I just put it into the coffee otherwise it gets just like grainy and doesn't 
melts in and then we're gonna tip it in. So this is the most satisfying part of the whole thing. And oh my goodness, yum, yum, yum. Mm. My oat gingerbread um, coffee. I have a huge bottle of water to keep my brain going. And I'm gonna go and set myself up in the garden with all the little bits I need so I can sit and do like 90 minutes worth of work, I think. sit with me while I work and snuggle up, don't you? So she'll sit here for like 10 minutes and then go and sit in the shade and she just does that on and off pretty much the whole time. Hey. So yeah, this is my favourite place to just sit and work and just get on with stuff um, day to day. And I like to just do at the moment, with everything going on and the kids being here, I like to just do like an hour. I sit down, I would like an hour or 90 minutes, but I will sit and just do a big chunk of work. I'll go off and like enjoy myself and do something nice for like an hour or so, or do some like jobs around the house I need to do, or spend some time with the kids, or do their schoolwork and things like that. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here and get myself organized for the week. This is basically gonna be like an admin hour. So I'm gonna set my timer on my phone for 90 minutes. I'm going to put my phone to do not disturb, which is the best thing to just allow me to just get on with so much work. Um, and then I don't get distracted. Keep topping myself up with water and write myself a to-do list and just work through that. I've just found that is the best way just to get the most out of my time and make sure I get all my jobs done for every single project going on, all content creation and all that kind of brand stuff that I need to send over to brands and get things approved and just make sure I'm just working my way through that list. So I'm gonna do that now. I was gonna have smoked salmon for breakfast, but I didn't have any, well, my avocados had gone off, so I decided I'll have some on some little rice cakes for my lunch. I've got a pot of um, olives, a pot of hummus, which I have made a little bit more special by adding some olive oil and some lemon, freshly squeezed lemon on top with a little bit of like coarse sea salt and some sesame breadsticks. And then, 
I'm also going to have a few strawberries on the side, so I'm going to do those now. And then I'm going to sit down, have my lunch, do another half an hour, and then that is going to be, I think, about as much work as going to get done today. I'm going to bake a cake this afternoon. Uh, last week I baked a raspberry cake which was so good so I'm going to try and bake that again. It tasted like if you've ever had the Cafe Nero um, raspberry and white chocolate muffins it tasted a little bit like that but obviously it didn't have white chocolate in. So today I'm going to do it with some white chocolate chunks in as well and see how that goes. So I'm going to go and eat this because oh my god this hummus is with lemon juice and olive oil it makes any hummus taste so much better. Mm. so good and then I'm actually going to make myself a green tea with lemon juice in and uh, crack on I've had to come inside oh my god I felt like I just couldn't I couldn't work it was so hot out there Um. so I've done quite a bit I have done quite a lot I've got quite a, quite ahead on the week which is nice Um. but yeah there's only so long you can work in the sun on a laptop especially with me because i haven't got very good eyesight so i'm like squinting the whole time so one of my friends hattie i've not seen her properly only like in passing like i've seen her at the supermarket and stuff like that um but she's gonna come up tonight and we're gonna have a nice little glass of wine or two or ten <laughs> in the garden um which will be so nice and have a little girly night um the kids are gone to their dad's again he's finished work for the day so he's come to pick them up and Oh, what are you doing to that? No, just going to have a drink for a change, are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so she's going to come up and we'll have a nice little girly night. So my cake gone out the window. I've not ended up taking my contact lenses out. Uh, contact lenses. My hair extensions out. So I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do that. Maybe tomorrow. Um, Rick, are you going to help me with that? Yeah, you cut my hair. <clears throat> yeah, I always cut your hair. Yeah. So Rick's brought some ply, like... What are they called? Long, long, nose pliers. long nose pliers from work. So we're going to try and take my extensions out with that. Should we do it tomorrow? Yeah. Or maybe the day after? When you've got a day off? Yeah. They're literally matted and like coming out. They're like so grown out. So yeah, we're just going to have a few glasses of wine in the garden I think. But I've just come in for a little bit because it's so, so hot out there. And I just cannot carry on squinting at my computer screen any longer. So we have ten minutes or so and then I'm going to... Give my planters another lick of paint. I bought some really cheap, just like long rectangle planters from B and Q. They were so cheap, I think they were like two pounds each. But I've got loads of the grey paint left that I painted my fence in, and I painted another part the same in the grey paint, and it looked so so nice. Um, so I've got those, and then my mum was telling me today that she has got some really nice flowers that will grow up my trellis so I'm going to plant those in them once the um, pots are all painted and looking nice and I've finally got some compost because I couldn't get it yesterday. I'm going to go and get those in the liquor paint. I might crack a bottle of wine open because there's nothing else to do and if that's coming up I may as well make a start because she drinks way faster than me um, and yeah it'd be really nice to have a nice little girly girly evening and chat socially distanced of course we'll sit at other ends of the little sofa just chill might get some food i don't know we'll just see what happens but yeah it'd be really nice it's really really nice to see you <laughs> I wanted to leave them on a little bit longer but I'm so hungry they just need to come off I've noticed this week my teeth had gone like discoloured again basically because I've been drinking too much coffee and I've also been drinking loads of red wine with Rick in the evenings I'm just drinking in general so I'm gonna I just put my strips on really quickly but I am gonna use my proper gel in my case tonight I think she says drinking coffee. 
or straight away afterwards. Probably not the best thing. Oh, had a nice little morning. I'm feeling a little bit ropey today. Hattie came up last night and we had such a nice little evening. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit ropey, so I've got two crumpets and a coffee. I've been out for a walk. It's five to ten. The kids are at the dance this morning, so I've had a peaceful little morning. Rick's at work and um, it's been nice, but I did wake up feeling a little bit ropey. We had a little bit too much wine last night. We ordered a takeaway pizza, sat out in the garden. We were very proud of ourselves because we managed to light the fire pit, even though we had no kindling, no fire lighters. After too much gin, <laughs> I was like scavenging around the garden to get like little dry bits of sticks and I found loads of these things, I don't know what they are, like that have come off the next door's tree that are all over the place that were all dried out. So I was like chucking those on um, and the pizza box. And yeah, we managed to get it going in the, in the end. So that was really nice. It was really cute and it was so nice to see hats. But we both said it was really, it felt really awkward at first. I feel like I've forgotten how to like socialize with people. And at first we both just sat there like a little bit awkward. I think it was just weird. Cause normally like we'd have a big hug and we'd like always be so close and it, Oh, it was just weird. It felt really weird, but it was so lovely. We had a really, really nice time. We just sat out drinking till about 11 o'clock and had a little girly night in the garden, so that was nice. But my hair just stunk of smoke this morning. I woke up and I was like, oh, it reminded me of, I'm going to show you my age now, but it reminded me of when you could smoke in like bars and clubs. You'd wake up the next day like stinking, or I used to work in a bar and then you'd wake up the next day and your whole, oh, it's just gross. And when you think back to that, it's so strange that actually that happened. So yeah, I've had loads of water, my second coffee, actually my second breakfast. I've already had another two crumpets at like, what time was it? 7.30 this morning, I've been up at six still. Um, but I didn't do my Pilates. I literally like just sat and chilled on my phone for like an hour. Got myself up, took the dogs out for a very slow little wander. <laughs> I've really noticed the difference because most mornings like I'm up and I'm like fresh and I'm just ready for the day. And today I'm very like, I'm just slow. <laughs> I'm just very, very slow. So yeah, I'm on my second breakfast at 10 o'clock. I just need to keep eating. If I keep eating, I'll be fine. Like I wasn't that drunk. We only had like one bottle of wine between us and then two gins, but I definitely made the gins far too strong. So yeah, I'm just very, very slow today. I've had a nice shower, I've shampooed my hair three times and I can still smell the smoke in it. So that's annoying, <laughs> that's really annoying. Um, I just put some root spray on my hair because my roots are just horrendous. I've got so many gray hairs coming through. But I got this root spray from B&M which is actually better than the L'Oreal one, which I was so surprised at. I've also just done a quick makeup this morning when I got out of the shower just to make myself feel half awake. Um, but I just used by Terry again. I love it. Oh my God, I absolutely love that product. It's so amazing. So all I've got on is the CC serum and then I used the palette for a little bit of like like really light contouring and like a bit of blush and a little bit of concealer around my breakouts but I just I'm like I like it Hat said last night she was like I'm loving this like less makeup look like you a bit more pale on your face she was like it really suits you so so yeah I don't really know what I'm going to do with myself today um I say I keep saying I'm going to clear my wardrobe out so I might do that but I just feel a bit, oof, I've forgotten. This is why I don't drink very much. I know I'm like literally on here drinking every night or I'm like on Instagram stories like, oh, I'm gonna have another wine at six o'clock. But I don't drink a lot. I probably have like a wine, a glass of wine while I'm like making dinner and then maybe another like top up of like a half. So probably like one large glass of wine a night. But last night we had a lot of gin. We finished that whole bottle that I bought from Aldi the other day <laughs> between the two of us. So yeah, it was a lot of gym. My peonies are still going strong. How beautiful they are. I might do... Do you know what that noise was then? It's Elton, he's under the table. Oh my God, that put me to death. I might do a bit of gardening today, but on the other hand, I might just sit on the sofa and chill and do nothing. 
I've started listening to a new audiobook this morning. Oh my god, I love it. If you listen, if you like listening to like motivational stuff, things like that, oh my god, it's so good. It is called Girl Wash Your Face, and it is by Rachel Hollis. I've not heard of before. I've listened to 10 minutes already. Um, this is the audiobook. Um, and oh my god, you know when you just listen to, listen to someone or read a book, you're like, well, I read loads of like self-help and motivational books. I'm like, I love this woman. Whoever this woman is, I'm actually going to look her up on Instagram now. It got me in a really, really good mood today. Um, so if you like motivational stuff, I would recommend it, but I'll let you know how I get on once I actually finish it. And then after that, I have got the Michelle Obama book on my um, Audible. So I'm going to listen to that as well. So I will let you know. Me and my sister have swapped Audible accounts. So I've got all her books to go through, which is good because it's like having another little library to listen to. Um, so yeah, she, she downloaded the Michelle Obama book. I listened to it. She said it was amazing. So I'm excited to listen to that. But I do actually want to like have an actual book to read. I don't have any at the moment. Like I want a fiction book. So if I'm like sitting out in the garden, I can just actually sit and read or sitting in like in bed in, at night. I'm trying to really get like those relaxing, like nice times into my day. So if anyone's got any really good recommendations, recommendations <laughs> for um, like a fiction that they've read lately, please let me know in the comments because yeah, I want to read something really good. Something quite like light entertaining like easy to read kind of thing nothing too like full-on i'm not not into like reading really full-on books at bedtime i'm also going to do some online shopping today that is one thing i'm going to do i'm finding because the weather's so nice i'm wanting to like sit out in the sun um and i've not got anything that's like strapless or that i can wear i've got one top i've got the h&m top that i had on yesterday which has got the thin cami straps but all of my other stuff is quite like always like covered on the arms or quite wide like square neck straps so i'm actually going to do some online shopping today i would like quite i would like a couple of maybe like floaty summer dresses that are either like bando or just very thin straps that i can kind of move about so i'm going to have a little look online and see if i can find something I actually saw a really nice H&M dress which is like that really thin big floaty um like summer dress but it's completely sold out of my size so so I might actually do that and then share all that with you I might order a load of stuff to try on and then share it with you next week potentially but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and have a little bit of a lazy lazy day my eyes are just like oh <laughs> I've already had two coffees. I don't think I can have another one. I just feel very, very slow today. So yeah, I'm gonna have a nice chilled day. I'm gonna get out in the sun. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Hopefully I will be feeling a little bit more energetic <laughs> and a little bit more myself in my next vlog. Um, but I love you all, girls. <laughs>